help out with uh, any makeup work that you need to do. So if you have anything that you are um, looking to get made up as far as tests, quizzes, um, the retake, uh, please reach out to me through email and I can help you get set up with that. The um, section two tomorrow, we'll just kind of build off what we're talking about today. So a couple things that we'll kind of introduce today and then tomorrow you're gonna get a little deeper into um, reviewing all of your power rules and, and practicing with those. So we'll introduce a couple of those power rules today. All right, so heading to our notes, we are going to start to relate the topic we've been talking about, which is radicals. We're gonna to start to relate those to rational exponents, which basically means just an exponent that is a fraction. So below there I have, have that definition. It's just an exponent that is a fraction. So looking at our goal for the first half today is just to be able to rewrite fractional exponents as radicals. And then if we can, we will start to, to solve those out. So here is the basic rule. If you have a exponent that is fractional. So let's say we have a to the one over n. So n could be anything. It could be a one third, could be a one fourth, could be a one fifth, whatever the case is. That denominator, now this is a big concept, that denominator also represents the degree or the index of the root that you're taking. So a to the one over n power is representing the nth root of a. So this denominator, we're gonna start to uh, practice with this quite a bit. This denominator is gonna start to represent the index of the radical that we're using. So heading to problem A, we're gonna rewrite it in simplest form without a calculator. And on, on uh, Delta Math, it'll say rewrite it in radical form and then you will solve it out. And we're gonna try to do it without a calculator. We're gonna use our power sheet for this. So 625 to the one fourth power is gonna represent the fourth root of 625. And then I don't have my power sheet handy, but if I went and uh, found that quick, our power sheet. So to read this, the fourth root of 625, I would go to my end of the fourth column and I'd find 625, which is right here. And then I'm gonna scroll over to the end column. That's gonna equal to five. So this first answer here is going to equal five. So not using our calculator, we're gonna be practicing using our power sheet. And it's a good idea to get used to that power sheet because when we get into section or chapter seven, we're gonna um, be using logarithms and logarithms are gonna use all those power rules that you see on that power sheet. So the more familiar you get with it, uh, the better at logarithms you're going to be. Moving on to part B, we've got 12 to the 1 half times 12 to the 1 half. So that's going to be in radical form. It would be the square root. Now remember, I don't need to put that 2 there, but I'm just showing you that. Times the square root of 12. Now what you'll find is if you multiply two, val two uh, square roots, you're just going to get the number that's underneath. So that's just going to simplify to 12. So square root of 12 times square root of 12 is going to be 12. Next, I have the cube root of 12 times the cube root of 18. Now, since they are both cube roots, I can multiply what's underneath there, and I'm going to get the cube root of 12 times 18, which I just had it and I forgot what it was. 12 times 18 is 216, so we got the cube root of 216. Then we can head to our power sheet, go to cube root, which is right here. Cube root of 216 is going to be six. So our answer would be six. So there's our first kind of introduction to a fractional exponent. Our denominator is going to become the index of the radical that we're taking. Now I really encourage you to practice using the, the power sheet. So, so simplifying these powers, using that power sheet, it's gonna really pay off in the long run. I know that you could type each of these into your calculator. I know that you have the ability to do that, 
but it's not going to really help you out that much. So uh, challenge yourself to, to try these with your power sheet. All right, let's head down into our next section. So rational exponent is going to be an exponent that is a fraction. So we're going to now start to look at what happens if I have a power, an exponent, excuse me, that has both a numerator and denominator. So now a numerator, that's not one. So we know that our denominator represents the the index of the root we're taking, the numerator is going to represent the power that you are raising underneath your radical. So that base of A would also be the base in your radicant. The numerator of your fraction would be the, the base raised to that power inside of your radical in there. So we'd have the nth root of A to the m power. You can also simplify roots this way. It could be nth root of a and then that whole thing raised to the m power so you have some leeway about how you simplify it and we'll take a look at some examples and how we can can solve those out so we'll take a look at uh, this example right here example a just making sure that we can write one of these and then we'll also take a look at one from from example b so we'll take a look at this 2y to the 4 negative 2y to the 4 fifths so first the Four fifths is only going to the y, so the y is the only part that's going to be in a radical form. So negative two is just going to come along, and then my denominator of my fractional exponent is five, so that's going to be the fifth root of y to the fourth power. Then I would check, and since there's not enough y's to root out any y's, I'm just going to have to leave it in that form. So if there was five or more y's, then I could take out a perfect fifth root like we've been doing back in our previous sections. But we only have four y's, so there's nothing else I can do to simplify that. Then we'll take a look at this a, b, square root of a, b to the third. So square root, what's my index going to be if I'm doing a square root? It's going to be a two. So I'm going to have a, 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 a denominator of of two. Now that a in there, that a is raised to the first power, so that's going to be a to the one half. And then that b is raised to the third power, that's going to be b to the three halves. So rewriting that in exponential form, I'm going to take each of those um, individually. That a to the the first would become a to the one half because I'm square rooting, and then b to the three halves. So we're going to practice writing radicals back as as um, exponentials. Today on your delta math assignment, you will you will always be taking the the uh, rational exponent and then converting that back to a radical. So you're going just that one direction. You can go both ways, but we're going to practice rewriting them as radicals. So if you haven't watched the video yet, the video we're just watching examples one and two. You can watch the video for those additional examples, but um, unless there's any questions you guys have, I'm going to uh, head into Delta Math so you guys can get a little taste of practice on Delta Math. Is that okay if I erase this? You guys good with that? All right. So the instruction video, example one and two, if you want to um, continue to look at those notes. All right. So we'll head into Delta Math. Okay. So we're heading into uh, problem one here. So I'm looking at this. And I see I've got this fraction right here. My numerator, that one is going to stay exactly the same. I got nothing up there, but right there I have this, this four thirds. And I apologize, I know it's pretty small right there. Um, these fractional exponents, they're, I mean, exponents are small already, and now we're trying to put a fraction in there. I know that it gets a little small. So you've got this base of 3x minus 4. So I'm going to rewrite this as a radical. It's going to be the cube root. of 3x squared minus 4 to the fourth power because that's what's in my numerator. So I'm just taking that denominator of 3. That tells me that my radical I'm dealing with is a third root or a cube root. And then the numerator would be the power I'm raising that base to underneath my radical. So looking at my examples, um, I've got a, a fourth root of 3x. Nope, that's not going to be it. 
My two options are going to be B and C because they both have the, the fraction form. But the only one that's got the correct index would be C right there. So that one's the one that's got the, the cube root of 3x squared minus 4 to the fourth power. So that's the one that's going to transfer into the correct form. So let's hit submit. Let's see if we got it. And then it will walk us through the, the problem. Okay, so our remember our denominator will go right into that index. And then our numerator becomes the power that that is raised to right there. So there would be our result. We'll head back, take a look at an additional problem. Okay, so express 27 to the 4 thirds in simplest radical form. So I'm going to take that index of 3, and then I'm going to have 27 to the 4th inside of there. Now I do need to check, can I simplify this to get an actual number? And we're going to simplify this without using a calculator because it's really a pretty easy problem to do. I can also write in radical form, I can also write this as the cube root of 27. Sorry, I got to get my mouse figured out there. There we go. Cube root of 27. And then I can take, since that's raised to the fourth power, I can raise that to the fourth power. So I can take the cube root of 27, figure out what that is. And then I can raise that to the fourth power. Now, if you're unsure what the cube root of 27 is, you can go to your power sheet and check it out. So you go to your third powers. Where's the cube root of 27? Right here. That's going to equal to 3. So heading back to delta math, that's going to really be 3 to the fourth power. I can head back to my power sheet. What is 3 to the fourth power? That's going to be 81. So there's going to be my final answer. Now, if you really wanted to, you could go into your calculator to check your work. But I would challenge you to try to solve these using your, your power sheet. So we'll head to our answer. We'll hit 81. So I use the denominator to make it a cube root. Figured out the cube root of 27 is 3. Once I know 3, I can raise that to the fourth. That's going to equal 81. So then I could submit my answer. Hopefully we get it. And there's going to be our result. And they'll walk you through the exact same process that, that uh, I just did. But there would be your cube root of 27 would be 3. 3 to the fourth power gives us all the way up to 81. Lastly, we'll look at the last section where we're going to start to throw in some variables. So here we have 81x to the 1 fourth. So 81 does not have any power going to it. So that's going to be 81. And then x to the 1 fourth is going to be the fourth root of x to the first. And you don't need to put x to the first. If you wanted to, you could. But 81 would be there. And the fourth root of x, I'm going to hit this one that has, has the n so I can choose which root I want to use. And there would be my fourth root of x. If 81 was in parentheses with the x, that would mean that both numbers would be taking the fourth root of. But it's not in parentheses, so the only base that gets the one-fourth power is going to be the x. So that would be a 81 to the fourth root of x. Sub submit that in and there we'd get our result and they'll kind of walk us through how to how to solve that one as as well so that's just a intro to sections uh section 6.4 day one so you're really just working on converting seeing that that uh fractional exponent and getting it back into radical form to help you kind of get that conversion down so I will stick around for any other additional questions, but it is 10.01, so you are, are free to break off if you want to work on your own. It's great to see you all, and uh, if you have questions, I will be on here until 10.25, and you can stick around if you want to share your problems with me, and we can help work through those. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Thank you.